two men walk into the octagon, only one will walk out. Well, unless you count the referee. And if there's a big old brawl or melee at the end of the fight, there will be more exiting. Hello, welcome to Octagon St. Laveau. I'm your hostess, Betty St. Laveau. On this show, we discuss all things UFC and MMA. And um, I haven't been watching any fights lately or studying UFC because I've been really busy doing some other stuff. But this episode is Leo time. And Leo time basically is the time period between July 23rd and just about August 23rd, 22nd, when the sun's in Leo. And today we're going to discuss the Leo men of UFC and who practice mixed martial arts. All right, and when I saw the, the, as I noticed who was a Leo on this list, I was amazed, but not at all surprised. So let's start right off. Um, we are going to start off with um, who I consider one of the most alpha of the alpha males in the UFC, and that's Mr. Connor Anthony McGregor. He was born July 14th, 1988 in, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Crumlin, Dublin. His nickname is Notorious, and he stands 5 feet 9 inches. He weighs 155 pounds, and he is what one calls a champ champ. He has won the belts in two different divisions. He was a featherweight between 2008 and 2015, a lightweight between 2008 and 2012. He is still a lightweight, and he also fights in the welterweight division since 2016. He has a reach of 74 inches, and his stance is southpaw. Uh, he, his partner is Dee Devlin. They have a child together, and Connor does speak Irish. Um, he does not do pre-fight rituals and um, superstitions because he believes that they, are, they can become fear-inducing. Um, he has a record of 25 matches, 21 wins and four losses. He lost to Khabib Namagedov, Nate Diaz, Joseph Duffy, and Artemis Sitenkov, and the last two gentlemen he lost early on in his, in his career, so the, um, he was undisputed champ for quite a while. Um, I find uh, Connor as someone who is not only skilled at selling a fight, meaning he brings interest from the public uh, to the fight, he also is a superb fighter himself. We do not want a Connor McGregor not fighting. I think that he's a fighting man, and there are all types of people in society. Some of us like to ride motorcycles. Other, others of us like to collect stamps, and some of us are fighters, and Connor is one of them. All right. So because I've been out of the loop a little bit, I'm just giving off some information about my favorite personalities. And uh, I really like Connor's, uh, I like his boxing style. Um, I like, uh, I tend to be drawn to strikers more than I am wrestlers, but that somet sometimes that's the exception to the rule. Okay, so the next Leo we are going to discuss is Dana White. He was born July 28th, 1969, um, and he is th the president of the largest MMA association in the world, and that's the UFC. Um, I believe he was born in Manchester, Connecticut, raised primarily by his ma, and um, grew up mainly in Ware, Massachusetts, and began boxing when he was 17. In his youth, he managed Tito Ortiz and Chuck Liddell, becoming very, very good friends with Mr. Liddell, and heard that Bob Meyerowitz wanted to sell the UFC. Dana had always wanted to be a fight promoter, and he himself uh, is a mixed martial artist, I believe. His childhood friend, Lorenzo Ferletta, uh, who, along with his brother Frank, help uh, form the company, develop the company. Uh, Dana is a Trump supporter, and at times he suffers from vertical antinitis, which he believes happened when he was, um, the, the results of fighting when he was young. I find Mr. Dana White an intriguing, upfront character. People 
as well. Uh, people describe him as cruel, etc. I don't think that the fight business is a soft business. It's not like they are, you know, growing grass or anything like that. They're they're fighting and they're competing with one another. Uh, he has been uh, married to the same woman since he was in his teens, and they were childhood sweethearts. As a matter of fact, I think they met in eighth grade. So. When I look at men, uh, men who have been married like that, I really think that they have a lot going on, very mature in ways, uh, in some ways than bachelors are not, to um, be able to sustain long-term relationships. That's just me. Uh, I like Mr. Dana White's style, and uh, uh, I think he's fascinating. Um, I wish I had his energy. He seems to have a lot of it. Okay, so, the next fighter that we are going to look at, oh, I think we're going to look, yeah, we'll look at, um, we're going to do my favorite fighter last, so we're going to go to Mr. Joseph James Rogan, Joe Rogan, uh, born August 11th, 1967, in Newark, New Jersey. He moved to San Francisco when he was seven, and then to Gainesville, Florida, when he was 11, and he studied Taekwondo and Karate. Um, he's been married to Jessica Ditzel. They have a family. And he considers himself a libertarian. He's part of the Eat What You Kill movement. I think that's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, has a podcast that is amazing, has lots of fans. Joe's, um, I don't think I have his fight record down here, but um, he's a stand-up comedian, and he took up martial arts when he was young, as did Connor and Dana, uh, to prove to himself that he could, I think, be brave, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I also think being a stand-up comic takes a whole lot of bravery, so I look at that, too. Unfortunately for, um, I'm sort of a Joe Rogan fan, I watched Fear Factors for a couple of years, not knowing that his resume consisted of other things. So um, I'm getting over that. I think that uh, he's probably a stand-up guy and can, he has a, a great job. He's able to talk to people that interest him and intrigue him about all sorts of things and get paid for it. So right on, Joe. Okay, so the last Leo male we're gonna look at in this pantheon of Leo time today is Nicholas Robert Diaz, Nick Diaz, born August 2nd, 1983. Um, he's a currently retired fighter uh, and promoter. Um, he is six feet tall, weighs 169 pounds. He has a 76 inch reach and he has studied Brazilian Jiu Jitsu under uh, Cesare Gracie, I believe. Uh, when he was 18 years old, he won his first professional fight. And then I think it was his second fight, he became a champ. I could go on about Nick Diaz, he's very incredible. Um, He is also a professional boxer and is uh, trained in Sambo. Nick and Nate Diaz are some of my favorite fighters. Mr. Nate Diaz recently had a fight. We'll discuss that in a future episode. I have been out of the loop. Um, I saw a YouTube clip of Nick Diaz. I think he's being interviewed by someone. And as the fans came up to him, he was so gracious with them. He signed autographs. Uh, he seems like a serious type of guy, but his picture is totally smiling. Um, the Wikipedia picture I saw, and Joe Rogan was also smiling. Dana and Connor, not smiling so much, but that's okay. Um, so anyway, I like a smile, and I think he's a great fighter. I. Ever since I found out that these gentlemen were Leos, I thought I'd do an episode on them. In coming episodes, I'll, we'll be talking about these four gentlemen more in depth, not so much giving statistics, but their philosophies on fighting and their love of martial arts. You uh, have been watching Octagon St. Laveau with your hostess, Betty St. Laveau. I hope you've enjoyed our show today and um, have a 
great rest of your summer. Happy birthday to all those Leos out there. My birthday was absolutely fantastic. I had the most beautiful weather. And until I see you again, uh, be careful in the octagon, babies. Peace and love. Ciao.